everyone and welcome to another general vlog video and we are in my kitchen sitting on the floor I'm going to show you a repair that I'm getting ready to do but I kinda didn't think to film this from the beginning so I'm pretty much just gonna have to kinda walk you through where I, I'm at at the stage I'm at now so let's get you over here and we'll show you the damage so basically what had happened was when someone installed this window, no it wasn't me, uh, they didn't caulk good enough around it. And if you can see here, you can see some water spots. You can see some water spots over here. It's not rot, but it has caused the paint to peel. Well, in fact, that right there caused a great big seam right down through here. You can kind of see the seam here if you look. Open up and have water damage you know basically just water spots on the side so what I did was I come in with a razor blade knife and I cut lightly because all I'm doing is getting rid of the texturing and cut lightly and then peeled all of the bad texturing away that looked like you know this up here the color and it was flaking out then I took uh, my putty knife let me try to get this cleaned off just a little bit here. And I put joint compound on it, drywall mud, spackling, whatever you want to call it. And I filled in the very thin gap and just run this all the way down. And then all the way up from the floor, well from the trim, and got it flush. Now it's smooth going across the texture. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with a handful of texturing and I'm going to lightly put it on there all the way down all the way up to it just about like that. Make sure that it's kind of thin and I'm going to do that all the way down. That's a full bucket of texturing there. It's heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll explain my next step. Like I said, you're trying to get it on there thick enough to texture, but thin enough to not be noticeable. And I'll show you that when I'm completely done. There's some of it down here I'm doing that's off camera that you can't see. And it's just the same thing as up there. It's just going down to the trim. Okay, now that I've got most of it on there, I want to kind of clean my hand a little bit and then get, you know, the majority of it back off. I do want to put a little bit more up underneath here. There we go. Now I'm definitely comfortable with that. Now we'll smooth that back down and up, whichever you got to do. I want to put just a little bit more right there, but I'm going to get this curtain part out of my way if I can. Well, let's see. <laughs> All right, I think I got it out of the way. That way I can texture on up in here and you won't notice it. All right, thin it down down here. Get it out to match the rest of it. All right, now I'll clean my hand off. And now what we're going to start doing, I'll take my other hand, just because I'm right-handed, and I will start texturing to kind of try to match the old texturing which I know my way was no pattern and just random so that's what I'm trying to do right now feathering out my edges so you can't tell that I made a patch here it doesn't have to be perfect because once it's painted Honestly, you won't notice it. All right. Let's see. 
And I've got a larger line here. I can't really move you guys, but I'll try. Oops, don't fall. Okay, I've got a larger line here. I don't know how well this is going to show up. But you can see in my old texturing where I, I went this way, but before that I went this way. So I want to bring that continued on. I think I might have to add just a little bit more on this side to bring it out normal to look like the rest of the wall. Or the rest of the repair, I guess I should say. And then try to, same thing, I've got some patterns that I can kind of follow. Trying to clean up the trim down here just a little bit. But I've got some patterns that I can follow. Like this one right here. I can see it. So I'll come in and I'll swoop up on it. Looks like I did the same thing there. Uh, same thing over here. You know, you just got to try to follow. Believe it or not, that right there is good enough. I just don't like this little area right here. So I'm going to try to redo it. There we go. Now, I got one more here I don't like. All right, now that pattern will, will match the rest of what's on the wall. And while I'm at it, I think I'm going to fix these little holes, th these little lines over here. Once again, I don't know how well this will show up in camera. But there's a couple of lines here. It looks like maybe I might have put my kitchen table there before it was completely dry. So I'll just take a little bit of texturing, fill those in the best that I can while following the pattern that's above it and below it. That one's gone. Yeah, I still see it a little bit. Okay, there. Now it's gone. Now we'll do the same thing over on this side. We'll just kind of get rid of this line that's right there by filling it in and then try to follow the pattern below and above it. And I do not see it now at all. Um, just a little bit right here. And I might be making a mistake doing this because um, where I used to get my paint was at Walmart. The color place paint. It was good paint. It was paint and primer in one. And it was cheaper than a place like Lowe's. But yet, it was as good a paint, if not better. And I was comfortable with it. So, to me, it was better. And they stopped selling it. So I had to go to Lowe's and kind of get it color matched. Well, this is my kitchen, so this is yellowed a little bit more than normal. So I'm sure when I paint it, considering it's not an exact match now, it may not match completely. But if I have to, I can paint this whole wall. It's not that big of a deal. Now, I'm going to go right here on this little place right here and put... Just a little bit of spackling texturing in there. That way, I can just grab a, a paintbrush and do a little bit of white right there. And that part will be taken care of. So, that's it. I mean, that's as easy, you know, from, from start to finish, that might have been a 10 minute job at the utmost. And I, I don't even think it was 10 minutes. But now let me wash my hands and I'll bring you guys right back. Alright, so all in all, I don't know how well the light's showing. But once that's painted, you'll not be able to tell that that was a touch-up. And you guys will have to stay tuned till tomorrow. Of course, for you guys, it's going to be like one second. But for me, it will be, you know, probably 12, 24 hours, something like that. Once this dries... Then we'll get our paint, which is laying right here. Not sponsored, just showing. Um, 
I've been keeping everything fairly clean. I will have to, once it dries, I will have to, to clean the shoe molding up just a little bit better. Or the quarter round, I guess it's called. And then we're going to put a plug on this. Uh, plug cover. Yeah, I should replace the plug because it doesn't have a ground in it. But this is behind the table and never gets used. So I'm just going to throw a plug cover on it for right now. If it was something out that got used, yes, I would change it. But it never gets used and it, it will never get used. So I've got it all ready. I, my hands are fairly clean. I will wash them one more time. You can hear the water back there running. Um, so that, that's basically it. Should have maybe cleaned the dust and the cobwebs first, but we got it. So, like I said, don't go anywhere. It's going to be one second for you guys and probably 24 hours for me. But one second for you guys, and that's the most important thing. And I'm so sorry that I didn't get to show you guys the beginning of this. But you can see, I mean, you could clearly see where I fixed it before. Now you can see it, but at least it's textured. And once it's painted, it'll disappear completely. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay, so now it is the next day, and my texturing has dried. I don't know how well you can see it, but I did go up and clean the wall from here down. You can see it's yellowed up from there. It's been about three or four years since I painted, and my stove is right there, and things get yellow when you cook. And So I did clean all the way around it to give the paint the best chance that I can to match. And then once I'm done painting two or three coats, then I will clean the rest of the walls. But for right now, what we have time to do is do some painting. So I've got my brush. I've got my paint here already stirred and opened. And you can see I did run some masking tape this morning. Uh, just to give myself, you know, where I don't have to cut in as well. Just make it easier on myself. And I've got it down here on the trim too, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Let's just get some paint on this. And I'm going to paint, not a straight line, because I do want it to blend with the old, because like I told you guys earlier, you know, Walmart stopped selling the kind of paint that they mixed for me, and they can't do it anymore, and... So I had to go to Lowe's and just get it color coded off the back of the lid. And when he smeared it on the lid when he was done, I could not tell a difference. I couldn't even tell where he did it. So I think they got an exact match. But just in case, you know, I don't want any straight lines. I'll try to blend everything in if I can. I am going to go ahead and paint all the way over to this wall. And just kind of paint you know just try to blend it basically I guess that's what I'm trying to say now I will have to put two to three coats on this and the reason is is that is raw drywall mud and it's very chalky uh, it's about the consistency of dried mud and when you go to paint it normally your first coat is going to soak in really bad so you know, I'll put this initial coat on there, and then later on down the line, you know, once that dries, I'll come in and I'll put in one more coat, and then I may put a third coat, I just don't know. I'm not familiar with this Valspar paint, and I don't know, you know, if it's a one coat paint, if it has primer in it. Of course, I guess I could have read all that, huh? But, right now, we're just painting. And what I'm doing now is I'm kind of blending in to where I don't get rough corners, rough edges rather. Same way up here, you know, I'll just kind of feather it in just a little bit. That looks pretty good to me. I'll get the bottom of that window trim really quick. Oh, that looks really, really, really good. Make sure I get over here. 
that looks about perfect all right so now let's focus on this wall over here and once again I'm not going to paint the whole wall I don't think um, I'm just going to try to blend it in so far it looks great it looks like a really good match but I don't know what it's going to do once it dries it may dry darker it may dry lighter like I said I am not familiar with this brand of paint and I'll just kind of blend it in just a little bit I don't know if my head's in your guys' way. I imagine it is. No straight lines. And that's just about it. What I was telling you down here is I did put masking tape on the trim. You can see over there. All the way down. And we're going to let this dry. I see no runs. I see no heavy spots. So let's let this dry. And I'll bring you back in a second. And we'll put a second coat on it. Alright, even though I don't think it needs it, I'm going to go ahead and put on a third coat. Um, I don't know if you guys can see well enough or not. I did have some cracking. I don't know if that was there before or what, but paint will fill that. It's very minute. So, here goes the third coat, and yes, it is matching almost perfect. So we'll get this third coat set on there and it looks like I mean it's a warm day out and it's hot in here so I would say this will all dry within about an hour and then I can go get my new kitchen table and chairs and put them up in here uh, I ended up getting a farm style kitchen table and chairs butcher block top with white base and legs I really like it um, we'll be putting that up in here I'm trying to get everything done because Sunday is Easter and tomorrow we're going to color Easter eggs and of course you need a kitchen table for that to do it properly I'm not going to paint over in here in this corner and stuff because that was just blending in and I don't think I need to do that now And like I said, it looked really good to me, but I decided to put a third coat on and that's just what I was going to do. Alright, now we're going to paint this other little wall over here. I don't even really even remember where it was. And you know what, I didn't even have to do that because I forgot that this wasn't... Yeah, it did have a little bit of texture on it. So, I guess it needed to be done. But I know it was at table height. Because that's what it was, was the table rubbing on it. And by the way, before anybody asks, yes, this window was fixed last summer. It does no longer leak. Oh, and I even found a new plug cover. Yes, I know, once again, I should replace this plug and put a new, more modern one in with a ground. But this plug is covered by a table and never, ever used. Uh, so I'm just going to put a new plug cover on it you'll never see it if I'd have had the right size screwdriver would have helped a whole lot the plug actually needs to come out of the wall just a little bit more to be flush perfectly flush but once again, this gets covered and you'll never see it. Looks good, huh? So there's that. Go ahead and take my tape off. And if I can get a hold of it. I just cut my fingernails, so hard to get a hold of tape. 
do the same down here at the bottom. I see just one little bitty spot down here. I'm going to grab it real quick. There we go. Kind of blend this in just a little bit. Perfect. And that was a quick and easy repair. Most of the time was waiting on texturing to dry. And we're done. And like I said, if you stand back now, you'll see it right now because it's wet and it's shiny. But it dries a satin color. And once it dries, and I did go ahead and clean that whole wall uh, up to the top and down here. Cleaned all my signs. Cleaned all my uh, spices. And you got my, this all, took it all off, cleaned the wall, then cleaned that. So about the only thing that I've got to do is under the window there. And I'm done. So, with that being said, uh, trying to get the light not to blind you guys. So anyways, with all that being said, you know, you guys go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Click that bell notification, go all the way up to the top, click all so you've notified on every single video or live stream that we publish or post. Follow us on Facebook under General Vlog Video. And remember, if you guys want to help support the channel, I have over 900 videos. Go back and watch them, and if you got the time, watch the ads. It really helps our channel grow and helps keep us in the algorithm. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And we'll see you on the next video or the next live stream. And you guys have a super great day. And please, please, please be safe. We'll see you on the next video or live stream. Bye.